The Senate is going to have a vote on the second phase of coronavirus relief, that $105 billion paid sick leave package that the House passed last week. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the Senate will not leave town until that is passed. And the Treasury Secretary uh, reportedly in that lunch behind closed doors said he wants to see that bill pass as is and any fixes that need to be made to it can be handled after that. Then they will move on to this industry relief package. The Treasury Secretary says this is a trillion dollar injection into the economy on top of roughly $300 billion in IRS payments that will not be required, that will be deferred. McConnell says it's too early to say whether uh, he supports all elements of that package, but it is certainly a bazooka. Roughly 500 to 550 billion dollars in direct payments and or a payroll tax cut or some hybrid of both of those between 200 and 300 billion dollars in small business assistance and then five to $100 billion in direct industry liquidity. Now, I'm told by a senior administration official that those numbers are moving targets, that this is still a negotiation, but certainly uh, it is a sign from the administration that they are not going to, uh, they are not going to mince any of these numbers here when it comes to helping the economy. And to that end, the Treasury Secretary said it's not the time to worry about deficits either. Finally, one other thing I've learned that Treasury is setting up to try to help the American economy Economy, and that is a loan guarantee program similar to what was called TALF during the financial crisis. I'm told the technicals of it will be different this time around, but the idea is the same, to provide loan guarantees so that if a company cannot pay back its loan, if a bank gives it a, bridge, a company a bridge loan uh, for the next year or two years and the company can't pay it back, then Treasury would essentially provide a loan guarantee for that. In the financial crisis, that program was $200 billion, only $70 billion of it will be used, but we still don't know the exact details of what Treasury is looking at this time around.